welcome to Vorpal Tales. Tonight, I am happy to welcome you to part three of a two-part 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons adventure called Rise of Pirates Life. And yes, you heard that right. This is part three, a very special episode of Blossom. And before introducing my players for this evening, I would like to take a moment to thank our wonderful sponsors. Gem <laughs> Hammer and Son. <laughs> Oh, good. Lord, plagued with physical gremlins. Gem Hammer and Sons, Norse Foundry, Dungeon Crate, Hit Point Press, and Odd Duck Dice, who will be bringing you all of tonight's uh, GM die rolls. Also, just a quick reminder that tonight's game is rated M for Mature. Players, please take this time to introduce yourselves, who you are playing tonight, and where the audience can find you. Hey guys, I'm Alan, your Eldritch Keeper. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch as the Eldritch Keeper. Tonight, I will be playing Widriel Kathana, Rogue Half Health, who will do his best to not die and help his compatriots to not die. And hello, all. I am Devin. You can find me online at Sword of Sullied, and tonight I am playing. Archbash, Atrabash, one of those, whatever Dave says. And I am the cleric that will help make sure that most of these people don't die. And hello, I am Rosie, regular size mom. Uh, and my character is Nisriel, the dragonborn paladin of Bahamut, and I am most likely to die. Nice. Thank you, everyone. And unfortunately, our ranger, Aiden Birch Blossom, aka Made of Orpal, could sadly not be with us tonight. So he will be played by myself. And hopefully, I can do him justice because I have not played much ranger in fifth edition. Um, so, yes, we'll get right into it. So, when last we left, our intrepid group of dragon slayers. Uh, found themselves in combat with Pyrescythe, the frenzied flame. Uh, he had just dashed Widriel on a rock from about 60 feet up in the air, burned to death the summoned berserker warriors that Nisriel had created. And then that is uh, where we pick up our game tonight. So, is everyone ready? We're going to jump right into yep. it. Just right. uh, logging in to roll 20. All right. Because we are at the top of the initiative order, which would be you, Widriel. Uh, <clears throat> can't seem to, 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 to have the game in my list of games for roll 20. Why is that? Uh, is everyone in the roll 20? Don't forget, we have yeah, the map. Okay, here's the link. I do apologize for that. No, no worries. Huh? Nope. No. What is happening? So when I click on the link you have in, mm -hmm. it just brings me to, that's weird, to the, the Berserker page in the explanation. Oh. Okay. Let me... I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link. There you are. I just put it in our Discord. Mm. 503 service unavailable. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, there is one shot. Here we go. Loading. 
So, let's see. There you are. Where am I? You I'm are right here. Right there. Wow, that's really close. Well, Pyrocythe is about uh, 30 to 40 feet in the air above you. He had dropped you, then circled back down and burned uh, all of the warrior, all of the berserker warriors that were summoned. So huh. you find yourself at the moment. You find yourself kind of laying on this rock, back down, uh, just climbing to your feet. Uh, so what I will attempt to do is, as I lie down on the rock and I have a line of sight to him from the from the belly part, right? Technically speaking, is that yes. what I see? Mm -hmm. I will shoot an arrow, but as I do it, I will spin to get on my feet. Okay. And I will try to, if I can make it. Oh no, same problem as last time. I can't move my character. <laughs> Let me uh, make sure I got you. You're, you're a rogue, right? Yeah, assassin rogue, yeah. All right, try it now. Okay. Yes. So don't, don't as, I am within five feet of him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you are within five feet I of higher safe. Hog the arrow. I, I, I spin on myself to get on my feet, launch the arrow, and will try to backflip my way out if possible, because this is lava, correct? Yes, Around it is. The, uh, yeah, so I want to get out of that. All right, so go ahead and give me your attack roll and then give me an athletics check. All right, so I do believe because I have one of my allies within five feet, I get to um, to use the sneak attack. Yes, you will get sneak attack damage if you hit. All right, here we go. And that is a one. Okay. So, yes, you... As you go and spin and fire off, the arrow just goes completely wide, uh, so you do miss. It's a critical um, failure, yeah. Yep. Uh, but go ahead and give me that acrobat or that athletics check to try and jump from the rock to the lava. So, ac can I use acrobatics? Um, this is a jump, so it falls under athletics. Okay. Uh, athletics. I got a crit on that one, though. All right. So yeah, even though your shot went wide, you easily kind of just kick off this rock as you spin up to your feet and backflip out, landing outside of the little lava flow that you found yourself right. in. And I stay close to Artabash. All right. Uh, okay. Artabash is in the air. Yes, Artabash is up using. I'm uh, not close to Artabash. <laughs> uh, which takes us to Nisriel. Hello, yes. Staring at all of your crispy warriors who yeah. disappear in puffs of smoke. I mean, that's a shame, but she never expected them to really survive long. Um, but we're still with the conundrum of dragons in the air. I'm not sure what I can do from the ground. Uh, but I do see there's some rock formations around. Is there anything tall enough for me to, like, run up it and do, like, a, I don't know, an urban running style kickflip thing up onto the dragon? Unfortunately, the ro those rock formations are not high enough to attempt something like that. Darn, it would have been so cool. Um, well... I can try Moonbeam, but that's a that's about it. Uh, do I think that has that's a beam, so it's like yeah. You essentially are firing like a laser beam from your hand. Oh, so I thought of it as like an up down beam from the moon. What do other people think? Which way is your moonbeam oriented? I, I thought Moonbeam came from the sky because it says a pale beam of light shines down. There you go. And okay. a 40 foot high cylinder. 
So it's still a laser beam. It just comes down from the sky like a satellite strike. Like a holy moon powered satellite. Damn straight. So I'll do that. Okay. Uh, that's my, my best option at the moment. Is there a saving throw or is this an attack roll? It's saving throw and it's a constitution. Yeah. A con save? Yeah. All right. So he's got a negative one to that, right? Like all dragons do? Yes, clearly no. Uh, Does a 31... 31 passes. Okay, so he succeeds. Um, Does it do half damage on a save? Yes. Okay, so give me damage for half. Oh, uh, wait. uh, Is he counted as a shape changer? Because... Surprisingly not. Even though he has the ability to change, dragons have the ability to change shape. He's not an actual okay. shape changer. Okay. He's not considered like a lycanthrope or a changeling. Okay, and the reason Devin is asking is because a shape changer makes the saving throw a disadvantage. Uh, but that doesn't matter right now. So, I'm a roll. Ah, go away. How do I close that? There we go. I like roll 20, but closing some of it is a pain in the butt. Uh, so that's... 15? 15, and then the uh, Radiant and Necrotic, does that still do its thing? Oh no, it's melee. Yeah. Yes. All right, so... All right, so he takes eight damage. It's something. Yeah. I mean, that's that's how I, I rationalize it whenever I fight something that much bigger than me. It's something. That's Okay, that's it's a scratch, but 500 um, of them hurt like hell. Are you doing anything else? Do you want to move? Um, where, where am I on the map? You are down here. Oh, wow, I'm way down there. Yeah, yes. I got a one, two, three, four... Um, and, and you're hasted, so you have the two actions. Yeah, you have a 60-foot speed right now. Yeah, I know. Um, <clears throat> can I roll athletics to get over the lava? Yeah. Let's see how well I get over the lava. As you rush and jump. Ha! 12. <laughs> okay. You do manage to catch yourself, just barely. Like, you jump and you do one of those things where like you hit the ledge and you're like but you manage to pull yourself forward cool uh i will keep moving then where were we okay uh over here that's seven eight nine ten i think that's Okay, my speed is 30. Ah, well, I'm pretty close now. Boop. Okay. Your speed's actually 60 currently. Oh, right, because you're hasted. The, the haste. Uh, I'm here now. And we'll we'll see if I manage to uh, assist in some way next turn. Uh, anything else? Don't you have regular javelins or something to throw at him? Uh, I have a lightning javelin. Pretty sure you used that one. Oh, I used that last session. Yeah. Nope. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, so that will take us to Aiden. Uh, Aiden is still scared, still frightened of the dragon, so he's going to make his attacks with disadvantage. He basically, um, he's going to use a bonus action to uh, use his hunter sense, or not hunter sense, I'm sorry, his slayer's prey, 
which allows him to do an extra d6 damage uh, the first time he hits each turn. And then he's going to fire off, he's going to attempt to shoot two arrows from his drag arrow, his dragon wing longbow. So his first attack uh, is a 23 with disadvantage, so that hits. And then his second attack is only a 17, which will miss. Um, but he does do d8 and 2d6, thanks to his dragon wing longbow and uh, extra damage. All right, so 8, 12, 17 damage. So one of Aiden's arrows gets through, and he does 17 damage to Pyre Scythe. All right, and let's see, does he make his saving throw against the fear effect? No, he does not succeed, so he is still afraid. He's still frightened. All right, and that brings us to Pyrethe's turn. <clears throat> is this dragon bleeding in any way, shape, or form at the moment? Um, a little bit here and there. All right. <clears throat> um, so he's going to move. And land right there. And he's going to attack Aiden with two claws. And it's bite attack. So as he lands and just goes in with both claws on Aiden, uh, Aiden manages to duck one of the claws, but gets caught by the other and then gets bitten. Six, so 36 for 41 total damage. And I'm going to ask this uh, like a uh, DM normally would. So does a 30 hit Pyrocythe? Yes. Okay, good. Did you take your attack of opportunity? That I did, so I don't have okay. any reaction now. Yep. For the rest of the round. That is 35 necrotic. From? From inflict wounds at fourth level. Okay. All right, and that is now your turn. Concentration and it's already being run. Uh, so then let's back with uh, a twenty-three. A twenty-three will hit. Okay, and that burns my last fourth level spell. Do it one more time. Let's see how well this one does. Thirty-seven. All right. Nice. And then I will take my other uh, action to just whack him with a mace. All right. And a sixteen does not hit, I presume. No. It hits. Oh. It just bounces off his iron-like scales. Okay. All right. 
Uh, that takes us to the... T oh, wait. At the end of your turn, Artabash, or Atrabash, he's going to use one of his legendary actions. And you see his tail, like, shoot up into the air for a minute and, like, a blade, at, you know, at the end of it, and he just kind of sweeps it in your direction. Uh, does a... 29 hit you? Yes, it does. Okay, you will take 17 slashing damage from the tail from the tail bleed. Okay. All right, and now back to the top, Witchriel. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so I will try to get myself in line of sight, but I do want some form of protection. So I will move up to can't select my character again. Why? Oh, because I didn't click this. Never mind. If I can move, I will move here and use uh, the rock as cover. Okay. And I will cock another arrow and aim for what I think is the softest part. Okay. And shoot. All right. And I forgot 12 more damage onto him because I'm currently in uh, my using my Radiant Soul feet. Okay. And I do so... not believe I hit with a 13. No. So you fire off another arrow and it like just kind of brings a wing around and it just ricochets off the wing. Uh, which takes us to Nisriel. You're muted. It helps if I'm not muted. Um, well, one, I'm going to run over there. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is to get within range to lightning breath weapon him. Okay. Because uh, he's a red dragon, so yep. maybe he'll take something from lightning. Um, it, how high up is he? He's on the ground right now. He's on the ground right now. Yeah, he landed to uh, claw and bite into Aiden. Oh, well then, I'm I'm a run over. I'm gonna get over the lava. I'll give you that athletics roll. Yep. 18. Oh, you are fine. Sweet. Uh, blood axe. Huzzah. Oh, that's a damage. I need to hit first. Nineteen? Uh, 19 will miss as you just your axe scrapes across its side. Okay, but I have oh. another axe. But you do thing. have, yep, you do have a second attack with your regular attack action. Yes. 26. Uh, 26 will hit. Sweet. All right. All right. And then I'll roll my radiant and necrotic. Uh, so uh, 12 plus 8, uh, 20. 20 damage? Yes. Okay. So you strike that blow, and you hear him, like, he roars out, Playtime is overworms! And with that, he, like, rears up and smashes the ground, and you see jets of lava start shooting up from the ground, and you can feel and see the crust of the caldera start to crack. Uh, All right, this is not good, is guys. Not... Have you only been doing like one attack per attack action? Who me? Rosie. Ro oh. Uh, I don't think so. Because you get two attacks per attack action. Yes. So with haste, you should be able to attack four times. Because you take attack action and you get two attacks. Right, and then she gets a bonus action, which she can use for an attack. It's not a full. That one is not a full attack action. 
So do I have Dave? Do you should I have, have you should have another attack after this one. Okay, then I will hit him with my blood axe again. Um, however, yes. Due to the the jets of lava and the cracking of the caldera, can you all see the new map now? Oh wow! Yeah, we're all in lava. <laughs> oh. Lava now. My yes. biscuits are burning. No. So that may change what you want to do. Uh, can I jump onto Pyrocytes? Uh, <laughs> you can try to hit him with an, uh, an arm armed attack, sure. No, I mean, I want to jump onto him. Well, you're currently sinking into lava. I mean, you could, you would have, this would effectively have to be an attack roll because you'd effectively be trying to grapple the dragon. Okay. What would you like me? You could make a, an attack roll, an armed attack, or you can make an athletics check and he will attempt to resist it. 18? 18. Because my assumption is that the next thing he's going to do is get up in the air, and I want to stay with him. So you go to jump, like, you go to, like, grab onto him, and you grab his wing, and he's like, get off me, flea, and he just, like, whips his wing around, and you cannot, you cannot grapple him. It's fair. And you actually will say you get pushed back like five feet. Okay. Pushing you closer uh, to the edge of the lava flow. That's fine. I am less in lava, but I'm still in lava. Yes. Um, is that your turn? I think so. Okay. Well, you still have movement left. Well, she moved to get there. I ran to get there to and then she used him. The bonus action from haste to try and grapple him i'm saying did you use all your 60 to get there though or are we not allowed sure. to break up the movement no you can break it up i don't honestly oh. i don't know if she did okay i so did not use all 60 step away so I'm, I'm just gonna step off the lava all right yeah you'll have enough movement left to get out of the lava um my axe really... still has 2d8 <laughs> damage oh because of the yeah, level you act yeah. No, I was only doing one d eight. I'll I'll remember for the next extra. time. Okay, but at the end of your turn, it will take a legendary action. Yep. And I need everybody around it to make dexterity saving throw. Okay. It's everybody. Okay. You're fine, Widriel, because you're not with it. It's just within like that five foot area around him. 18. Okay. You're fine. You're not. You don't need to make the save because you moved away. All right. Nisriel. Oh, you can. You can give Dwayne's character the uh, plus four too, if you're gonna roll for him. Yeah, Dwayne made it, so it. he's okay. okay. Uh, uh, no. Twenty. Uh, okay, a twenty will fail. Okay. Um, wow. You take sense. fifteen points of bludgeoning damage as you're not prone as he like flaps his wings really hard and takes to the air. And lands right there. No, why? Because that's where he wanted to land. All right, that was Nitri oh God, Nisriel, um, Aiden will take some damage and then get out of the lava. All right, so Aiden takes 20 damage from the lava. Can't move towards Pyrocyte because he's still frightened. And then he will attempt to shoot Pyrocyte again. Missing with the first attack because he rolled a one, and but the second attack hits, so he fires off two arrows, hands trembling. Uh, what is that? Five, six for twelve damage on the fire site. Um, all of you paying attention, is the arrow fires as he fires off the two arrows and the one hits. It doesn't seem like. 
he did as much damage as he should have when it hit Pyroslaith. Almost as if Pyroslaith has some sort of protection. And that is Aiden's turn. He's going to try to make his save. Cannot shake that frightened effect. Uh, which takes us to Pyroscythe. <laughs> Pyroscythe cackles. He's like, you fleas cannot hurt me. And with that, you see a lot of the wounds that he had close over. Okay, now it's getting really bad. He's healing, guys. Yeah. And you basically see, yeah, he just heals over a bunch of his wounds. And then he will move. To there. Uh, I'm not liking that. Which then takes us to Atrabash, or Artabash, or Atrabash. At your artabash. Let's see. Making sure that. Okay, I did gain that. So he is now. Okay, 55. I can still do this. I am just following him. <laughs> <laughs> Take to the sky a little bit and then just rush over there. And, uh, man. Yeah, I guess I'll just uh, try and whack him a couple times because I'm burning through too, too many spells. All right. All right. Uh, so a uh, 20. Da, 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 4. 24 will hit. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, 13 points of damage. Okay. And then... And you know, uh, you can just feel that some of that damage did not get through. Uh, and it is magic and radiant for part of mm -hmm. it. Okay. And then uh, 22. Uh, 22 hits. Okay. And that's 11. All right. So yeah, you strike those two blows, but they just don't feel like they had as much purchase as they should have. Um, anything else? Uh, that'll be it. I mean, okay. nobody's too hurt, right? I'm, I'm um, well, Aiden's at about IQ. half. Okay. And I know okay. Widriel's down about 40. Um, so that takes us up to Widriel at the top of the order. All right, so uh, first things first, I'll try to get out of the, uh, the floor's lava. Yep, so you are going to take damage because you started your turn in the lava. So... Uh, 16 fire damage. Does... Where was it? Wait, 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 where's that ability? Uncanny, no, not uncanny dodge. What did I read? Oh, I need to go defeats. Uh, okay, yeah, because I read something. What was it? Evasion. Is there a deck save for death for this lava? No, it's. Oh, no. I mean, you're literally just burning because you're. Okay, so you're I'll just get in out. lava. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it takes double movement to get out, so for every square it costs 10 feet. For every square it costs 10 feet and we have 30 feet. Right, so you could move, while you're in the lava, basically every square of lava counts as two squares of movement. Okay, so that means this counts as... So that would be 10. 10? 20, so you're out now. I'll take my full movement to okay. be in the middle. Okay. How much damage do I take? Uh, you took a total of 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. And 
and I'm now down to 68. And I will cog another arrow, aim for All the right. end, and let it rip. All right. Oh, man, seriously? 16. I do not hit. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're firing off again, and you just can't seem wow. to hit this, this dragon. All, All right. my own rolls are crap at the moment. Uh, Nisriel. I mean, Witcher, you still have uh, your rogue bonus action you could use to move if you wanted. Um, or do a couple... I think you have a couple, a couple other options. Yeah, I'll take my bonus action to actually go on the rock. Okay. How much elevation do I get on the rock? Uh, Just about five feet. It's not too high. It basically, okay. luckily, created some sort of, like, bridge between the two little islands of lava. Okay. All right. I'm done for my turn. Nisriel. Okay. I need to try to get over there. Um, but before I do that, uh, I'm gonna just try to goad him, I guess. Uh, okay. Set, uh, see if I can get him to come any closer to me. Um, if we can't hurt you, why do you keep running? Uh, and I'm going to, or at least try to get him to stop trying to get away from me. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, you can use the rocks. Like, if there's rocks that cover the distance between the lava, you can run on them. Okay. So, like, okay. as you're moving, I see, like, yeah, you might need to jump over some lava, but there's some that you could probably walk across on the rocks. Okay. And then I need to just scoot the map up to see where I'm heading. Okay. I'm heading in the right direction. Yep. So, go ahead and give me an athletics check for that first uh, that lava first jump. Off? Nineteen. You're good. Yeah. That's. I think that's it. Well, don't forget, you're hasted, so you can move sixty. Oh. Then you can move another sixty right. with your bonus. So I can get there. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. And you want another athletics? Yes, please. Twenty. You're good. Okay. Yeah, so you just rush over, leap across lava, sprint across these rocks, and then jump across this humongous lava flow, landing on top of a rock. Okay. And I'm there now. Yep, and you still have your attacks. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, blood axe. 23? Uh, 23 will hit. Eleven plus uh so eleven plus six nine uh seventeen. So seventeen plus eleven. So twenty-eight. Twenty-eight damage. Okay. So again, you notice that he's just not taking as much damage as you should have done. As his scales are now starting to like pulse, in like in between, you see his scales start to pulse, like this reddish orange color. Okay, well, hopefully he's burning some kind of reserve, and we just need to get through that, and then maybe we can hurt him. Okay. Uh, and I have another attack. Yep, you get two attacks per attack action. Twenty-six. Uh, twenty-six hits. Twenty-six damage. All right. And again, yeah. Basically, right now you're doing half damage. That's kind of what I figured. 
Yeah. Uh, but um, my experience as a player tells me that he's probably burning through some kind of reserve of something or some kind of spell. Or some big, right. bad dragon BS. And that takes us to Aiden Birch Blossom, who will move his one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, no, he can't actually do that yet. He has to stay there or run away. Uh, so he is going to cast a heal on himself. Healing 20 hit points. And that is his last third level spell slot. And then he's going to try to break this frightened effect. And fail. So yeah, he can't get past that. All right. So at the end of... Uh, well, he already took this. So it is the start of his turn. He is going to move to there. Yep. Yeah, I'll move to there. Um, anybody want to take an attack of opportunity before he does anything? All right, I'll take silence as nose. A 20? Uh, 20 to hit will miss. All right. Uh, Nisrael, are you going to take an attack or are you going to forego? Uh, if I can axe him, yes. I don't know okay. if him putting distance between us will stop me doing that. Uh, it's basically, you get an attack for opportunity as he starts, as he moves away from you, since he's moving outside of your threatened area. Okay. Ha! <laughs> 13. Okay, that will miss. All right. And with that, you know, he looks at the both of you and he whips his claw out and from that you see a vortex of frigid wind and ice shards come out towards the both of you. I need you to make deck saving throws. Twenty-three. Okay. Four. I'm sorry, what was that? 24. Okay, you are, you both succeed, so you only take half damage. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just gotta. All right. He blasts you with a cone of cold. Oof. So you both take thirty eight damage halved, so nineteen cold damage. And that is his turn. So we go to Artabash. Okay. Um, let me just check one thing because uh, I think I might. Yeah, I can do that twice. Okay. I'm going to run right up to him again and well, fly. I'll fly over to this okay. side of him so that the 
has to go the other way. And uh, where is the actual thing for that? I'm just checking the keep on missing my tab. If he's done playing, we should be too. Oh, I don't even have to get that close to do this. Oh well. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, he has to make a con save. DC? I'm blowing big 19. Uh, he probably rolled a succeed, but He rolled a 20 total. Oh, he that just barely succeeded. Bastard! Ah. Uh, all right, now this will take me a second. Uh, Casting harm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 14 D6. Yep. Yep. Uh, half of 53. So 27, mm -hmm. halved again to 14. He still has that running after multiple rounds? Yep. That's a bastard move. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to have anywhere near the effect it should have. He just looks down and laughs, and you see his you know, wicked teeth form into a smile. <laughs> Puny god thing. Fine. Regular attack for 22. Which and hit. hit him for uh, 10 more damage. You my mace was so... almost as effective as my harm spell. Yes. Alright, and at the end of your turn, I need you to make a deck save. Nineteen. Okay, you are knocked prone and you take fifteen bludgeoning damage. As he uses one of his legendary actions to fly away from you. Actually, he'll go there. All right. And then we move to the top of the order. Woodrill. Uh, okay, so... Uh, now he's there. Okay, so I will actually shoot now. Okay. So I'll cock another arrow and aim for... Shoot first, Easy. then move. Maybe it'll be easier. <laughs> Is he, like, facing Aiden? Uh, I mean, he's kind of whipping his head around between the both of you, but you'll right, still so get... You're still getting sneak attack damage if you hit. Yeah, I'm just waiting for him to whip my way. Mm -hmm. And if his mouth is open, I will shoot inside the mouth. Okay. Now I need to need to establish dominance. Do I hit with a twenty-four? A twenty-four does hit. Okay. So an initial nine damage. Okay. Plus 13. So 22. 22. All right. And then I get the hell out of there. All right. I will, uh, hmm. I will move here and then try to jump my way to here. Okay. Do I give you athletics? Yes, roll me an athletics check, please. Okay. Where is it? Athletics, athletics. 12. Uh, okay. Uh, you are fine. This, it was a very small jump, so you managed to make it over there without an issue. And then we go to Nisriel. Okay, let's do the running thing yet again. Okay. Four. Five. Now, to jump from the rock, because you have no running speed beforehand, yeah. it's going to be a little bit harder to make that jump, because you're doing a standing jump as Fair opposed enough. to a running jump. So give me an athletics check. 26. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. 
I had okay. Oh, I, I will use this rock to uh, at least try to make it less difficult. Okay. Twenty-five. I'm assuming that you don't have to make the jump with the rocks. Oh, all right. Uh, what did I do? One, two, three. Four. So that that is sixty. So that your first move will get you there. All right, second one. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm need a, I'm gonna need an athletics check to make the jump. Yep. I'm assuming you jumped over the little piece of lava and then just ran across the rocks. Yeah. Okay. 28? Yep, you're good. Okay. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I see it in uh, D and D Beyond. I know it just feels good to say. Yeah. Um. So is the dragon on the ground in the air? Oh, he's on the ground. Okay. I'm still going to try to jump onto him. Okay. Because I'm determined to ride this dragon. And uh, I don't so want to. Give me an, an attack or an athletics check. I'm just trying to try to get a better section. That's, that's a 16. Don't yes, think that he, worked. He rolled a 27. So no. So yeah. I get, once more, you try to jump on him and just kind of sh like bat you off. Do I still have an attack action or Yeah, you still have yeah, that was one of your action that was one of your okay. attacks. Well then I'm gonna try to ax him because I'm annoyed now. Twenty seven. That will hit. Why can't I roll that well and I'm trying to jump up on you? Um It's just not meant to be. No. Okay. Uh 19 damage. Okay. So again, he only takes half. I know. Anything else? Um. If I can attack him again, I will. Otherwise, uh, you nope. That's what I thought. All right. Uh, so. so no. All right, that takes us to Aiden's turn. Uh, Aiden will try to move away. Uh, Aiden's gonna disengage. Aiden's not dumb. And he's gonna try to go back there. He's gonna make that athletic check. Oh, we rolled a one. So he ends up in the lava. Actually, what's his athletics? He might have still made it. Ones aren't automatic failures. Uh, his athletics is a plus two, so yeah, he failed. So he tries to jump in the lava and just ends up right there. Uh, take some damage, and then he'll use his remaining movement to get out of the lava. Eh, only nine damage. And then he'll move to there. And then he'll try to shoot him again. Aiden's not having a great day. Uh, misses and hits. Oh, nice, nice damage, Aiden. It's 12, 19, and 5. All right. So, before Pyrosythe goes this time, before his turn on initiative count 20,
he just slams one of his claws down onto the caldera. I need everybody, uh, everyone, to make a deck saving throw. What's with the rolls today? I got a, 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 a one on the dice, but I have 13 in total. So 14? No, 13. Okay. 13 total? Yeah. All right. Uh, Artabash? Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, Nisriel? 20. Nice. And, of course, Aiden rolled a one. Aiden is not having a good day. All right, everybody is knocked prone uh, as the ground just kind of shakes violently. Uh, so if you're prone, you have disadvantage attacks, and you can use half your movement to stand up. All right, and with that, it is Pyrosley's turn. And it just turns on Nisriel, glaring menacingly, and attempts to attack you with its claws and gnashy teeth. Does a 25 hit your armor class? Nisriel. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that claw, both claws hit, and the bite hits as well. So you're going to take 19 piercing damage plus 7 fire plus 30 more slashing damage. Okay. Just tell me what to put into the... Uh, so, just to, yeah, if you don't have any resistances, so it's 49 plus 7, 56 damage as it tears into you. Hey, I'm at 29 health right now. That's okay. Because I have the might of Muhammad on my side. And that was Pyrosai's turn. Artabash. You do have the might of Muhammad on your side because I am going to make my way over to you. And I am going to burn a channel to divinity to give you 60 health back. How much do you have now out of your full? Uh, 89 out of 119. Okay, so you're still missing 30. Okay, cool, cool, because uh, now I'm going to burn another use of channel division. Oh, wait, no, I can't use that action twice because no. it's uh, not, or it's uh, I it think do that. I'd, I'd... I'm I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope it can't deliver ED damage to me at once. So I think I'm probably okay for the moment. But what I personally will do is uh are you making it an a uh, action to chug a potion or a bonus action? It's a bonus action. Okay. Uh, I will uh, chug myself a uh, superior healing potion and give myself uh, 35 back. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. And what else you got? Uh, can't use, uh, I'm making sure what I can and cannot do with the uh, ace. Okay. Uh, Okay, but you know what I can do? I can uh, pull out uh, a my efficient quiver and pull out a uh, javelin and uh, try and jab it from slight distance. That's not the Wait, best action. You'd have to throw it because javelin only has a five foot reach. Yeah, I know. I was saying okay. I, I, it's not Are the best here? in the world because I only have. Uh, <laughs> my decks wait oh it still counts as strength doesn't it because yeah it's a throwing weapon yeah okay slightly slightly better than that okay 
<laughs> no, no, that was a ten. <laughs> okay. So you hurl the javelin. It just it. does that thing where it like <laughs> catches it and just snaps it in half with its maw. There. And at there. the end of your turn, I need both Artabash and Nisriel to make deck saves. Twenty-four. Your bonus is a plus four, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That, that, that makes it a twelve. Okay, so uh Nisriel, you only take eight points of damage of bludgeoning. And you are not knock prone. Artabash, you take fifteen points of bludgeoning and are knock prone as it like once more flaps its wings. And then just lands right there. And then we are to Widriel. All right. So yeah, considering where I am, I'm. I feel safe. Uh, so I will take a shot at it. Okay. Let's take. A here actions and 24 a 24 will hit 24 will hit for an initial 12 damage okay 12 plus 21 so we're looking at 33 damage all right so it only takes half but it does take damage and then at the end of your turn, it will take another legendary action uh, to swing its tail at Nisriel. Uh, does a 19 hit your armor class? Barely, Nisriel. but yes. Okay, Did you, you take- add the plus two from your potion of speed. Oh, then no, it does not. Okay. So it misses Thank as you. it whips its tail and the blade just comes within inches of your face. And that takes us to your turn, Israel. Okay. I'm going to hit it. Okay. With my axe. This is what I do. 27. That will hit. Twenty six thirty. Alright. You swing it air. And I'm gonna I'm gonna swing again. Fourteen. Uh that will miss. Mm -hmm. Uh you do have your extra attack from I was gonna ask haste. Yeah. Nineteen. That will also miss. 21. You only you made, you already made three attacks this round. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh poor Aiden. It is Aiden's turn. Aiden will try to shoot at disadvantage because fear. I dropped a d20. It rolled in that 20, I swear. Uh he got a 1 and a 5 on the die on that first attack, so he misses. And he misses again. He's going to stay where he is. He's going to try to overcome this fear. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yes, he succeeds. Finally. Aiden is no longer fearful of the dragon. Good. Uh, but yeah. And that's something to be afraid of. And now on a 20... Okay, five foot wide, or five foot radius, so ten. So I'm gonna need Artabash and Nisriel to make deck saves as a gout of lava just burst up from underneath the two of you. Twenty-four. 
26. Okay. 23. Okay, you both succeed, so you only take 11 points of fire damage instead of 21. As the lava just bursts up around you. And then it is Pyrosley's turn. He casts a spell. And you see his form start to vibrate and blur out of sync. And then he will move. Just trying to figure this out. Just trying to figure this out. Yeah, he go. Actually, you know, he'll go right there. Boop. And if anybody wants to make a tax opportunity, they can, which would be Artabash and Nisrael. Yep. Actually, Artabash, no, yeah, you're still fine. You didn't. You got up. You're not prone anymore. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. No, I am again because I got knocked back last. Yeah. Round. So you're prone. So you, yeah. You could attack him, but, but it'd be disadvantage. Yeah. Nisra, you're also at a disadvantage on this attack of opportunity. Well, then I definitely didn't hit him. Because well, you... I got a 12 on the first roll. Okay. And then it's, it's, you know... All right, and then Artabash, it is your turn. Uh, then I will be getting up. All right. Half my movement, and then let's see. Not be able to make it to him, but uh, I can, however, once again. Uh, so now you're down to like a little bit more than 30, 30, 41 points is the lowest fall. This room. I'm at 70. What's that out of full? Oh, I'm at 70 out of 119. Okay. And, uh, Elaine, what are you at? Uh, let's um, see here. I am 68 at 121. Okay. Then I'm just going to move uh, to here and give you 40 and Nisriel another 20. Are you casting a healing spell? No, I'm using another one of my uh, uh, your channel, channel divinities. divinities. Oh, my channel cool. divinities are very good for healing. You don't need to be... <laughs> what's nice is, yeah, you don't need... It's like a radius. Mm-hmm. It's not That's like a lay on hands thing. <laughs> Man. So I'm up 40 HP? You're up 40 HP. Nice. And Nisriel is up another 20. Cool, there's that, there's that, and uh, then I will drink another healing potion <laughs> because we have them and I need myself. And that's uh, 30 more health. Item, I will pull out a short bow and try and stab at thee from a distance. Okay. Hey, that's a 19 without anything else, so that's like a 25. That will hit. All right. With a nap one on damage, plus two, so that's three, and I'm just making sure that uh, this thing is... Yes, I do get it on every attack. So three, seven damage. Total? Total. All right, so it takes four. Is that the best you can do? I don't say this part, but uh, currently, yes. <laughs> All right, and that takes us <laughs> to Widriel. Still in range, yeah. 
Um, let's see here. Thinking. Can I move? Yes, you can. That is 30. That's 30 directly. You'd have to make a huge lava jump. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bonus action to dash. Okay. I mean, you're still going to need to make an athletics check to get well, over no, some lava. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I go over here and then the rock. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you just have to make an athletics check to get over that little bitty bit of lava. All right, so let's see here. Athletics track. Seven. A total of seven? Yeah, the dice is today. Okay. Baby. Nope. Yeah, you trip and fall in the lava. You go to leap and you just kind of trip and fall forward. So you're going to take some lava damage. You're going to take 18 points of damage from the lava. 18. And I'm back I in just 90. fixed you up. Yeah, so, I know. And that's where you are right now. And then you can just take your... The rest of your movement can get you out. All right. So... Here. Actually, this part, I'm not on the rock. I'm behind it, like... Over there, here. it's more like a rock bridge, so there's nowhere to like get behind it. Ah, uh, okay, I see. It's a bridge. All right, then I am here. Okay, and I will take a shot. Okay. In action. Do I hit with a twenty-five? Yes. I will say tonight the chat is merciful. There have been no uh Shh, don't say it. <laughs> no expenditures. Alright, so initial damage of fourteen. That's it, because there's no one close, so no escape Okay. Path. Alrighty. Uh actually roll again. You have disadvantage on the attack. Basically, right now oh. you all have disadvantage on attack rolls against him. Oh, okay, I'll re I'll roll one more time. Action. Uh so I had a 25 and a 29. Okay, so yep, you do damage. Uh, Betty said I'm almost out of points. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Savannah, however. <laughs> I, I mentioned how wonderful our producer is tonight. Our producer is wonderful. Producer's amazing and just would never do anything to hurt us. <laughs> Of course not. Of course not. All right, that takes us to Nisriel. Look at... Oh, look, that was a fun effect, Dave. Um, what happened? There was a gout of lava. Oh, wow. Neat. I, I don't have... know how you did that. I guess you neither. don't know how you did it either. I was messing around with the fire breath, so it must have just triggered at that point. Ooh. Um, all right, it's time to, to run after him again. One. Is he on any land or is that just- No, literally he flew into a patch of lava. Well then, like, do I just, do we just wait here for him then? Well, I mean, you could try jumping on him again. And then end up in the lava? It, it, well, yeah, I mean, no. I honestly, at this point, maybe the strategy is we wait for him to come back to us because uh, he, he seems he's... to have something to prove to these worms. That could be an idea, actually, like to like draw him out to us. But well, you have six seconds for a combat turn. What are you doing? <laughs> You are not. You are not able to discuss deep strategy no, 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 on no. your combat turn. Uh, at this point, Nisriel is going to look around and see if there's anywhere that looks like she can use to make a 
better defensible position? Um, I mean, there are some rocks that are on solid, you know, patches of, of land that might give you cover. Okay. Can you point one out to me? Shmiaw? Sh okay, that's where I was looking. Shmiaw? <laughs> Since this one is closer to the dragon, I will. How many athletics rolls do you want me to make to you for this? Well, <laughs> if you go across the rocks that you're on, you're going to this one, right? Yeah. If you're going across the rocks where you are to like here, and then you jump across, you'd only need to make one. Okay. If you want to do a standing jump from where you are to here, you can do that too. It's just going to be a hell of a lot harder. I'll take the the one. The one slightly less. Oh, glimpse the void. And, oh, spank my Betty redeems some of the elder gods. No. And I'm, is a, glim a glimpse is like, I'm not sure what a glimpse is because nobody ever uses glimpses in mass. It's always summons. It's like a lesser summon. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. For the I whole got you. group. No, I, got, I got you, Savannah. Don't worry. I got you, Betty. Um, what's that? 19. You're fine. You're fine to jump over that two patches, that two uh, two squares of lava. Great. And did you want to move into this square right here? To be fully if, behind the cover? If it's that square in particular that I think <clears throat> I need to be in, then yes. Yeah, that's kind of where you want to be. Okay. All and right. then I... I, uh, I can't really do anything to make it a better position. And besides, the dragon's probably just going to fly away again. So um, I'm going to park and wait here. And, All right. Uh, yeah. See if I come up with something a little more. Uh, All right. Creative. Aiden's turn. Can Aiden do anything of somewhat value? Uh, yes, he can. Everybody's pretty good, so <clears throat> he's actually going to shoot because that's what he can do right now. He's no longer at disadvantage. Um, I don't think that hits, though. Nope, that just misses. Wow, he took both of his attacks and rolled one underneath what he needed to hit. So he fires off. He's gonna move to there, but he's not trying to jump over that lava because it didn't work out for him so great the last time. All right, and he moves to there at this point. You feel the full power of Pyrescythe. And you see like he charges up that red R that's in his scales moves up like towards his mouth and just a gout of flame comes out. The only one who is not in it is Aiden. No. So I need everybody to make dexterity saving throws. Uh, dexterity. I succeed. 24. Okay. 17. Uh, 17 will fail. Yep. So. Thanks to our Glimpse the Void, this is a maximized breath attack. Oh. So that is 108 points of fire damage. Jesus. So does my so as a rogue, work? Yes, as a rogue, you take nothing. No damage. And Artabash is taking half. Oh, Artabash succeeded on the save. <laughs> and Artabash didn't use his reaction. <laughs> well, you But you have to declare that you're using your reaction to do that. So I'm using my reaction to do that. OK. So yeah, your shield is incredibly hot at this point. Um, and you can see the edges are starting to like melt 
from all the dragon fire. Um, but Nisrael, you took 108 points of damage. Okay, I'm... Wait. I'm out. Did you add the cover bonus of plus two? Since you were behind those rocks? Uh, so that would be 19 then, but I think I still failed. No, you get, uh, it's you a did. dex save, and you get advantage, and, uh, oh, yeah. uh, you still have your, uh, potion of haste, uh, so your plus two is actually... Oh, 27? A, uh, plus, your plus okay. two is actually, uh, yeah, with advantage. Yeah. All right, so instead of 108, you only take 54. Hi, I'm not dead. Hey! <laughs> And you have a boost that you don't need at this moment. But Savannah, who did this to you. <laughs> was it Savannah or no, it might have been Spank My Betty. Yes, Spank oh, no, My no, Betty. It was, it was Savannah saying Rosie. Savannah gave you the boost. Savannah yeah. did this to you and they gave you the boost. Aww. I love it. Thank you, Savannah. I knew you would never hurt me. Mm-hmm. Uh. And with that, Mighty blast of fire. We are going to take our quick halftime 10 minute break. So please come on back and see what happens with Pyre Scythe.
and welcome back everyone to Rise of Pyroscythe part three of two. Uh, when we left, it was we were rounding up the turn of Pyroscythe as it had just breathed a huge gout of flame across everyone, almost incinerating Nisrael before she realized she was hiding behind a rock and had advantage on her save. And also with that, uh, we had a summon the Elder Gods. So you see Pyroscythe roar and flame gouts up from his mouth and you can see wounds start to mend once more as he heals up and that takes no. us to Archer Bash okie dokie okay. not play with dice that's my job all right, well then, I am going to, uh, fly over yonder, uh, and, uh, you had 50, how many points of damage? This Who are you talking to? Me? Yeah, 50, how many? <coughs> 54. I'm at 36 out of 119. Okay, heal yourself for 54 points of damage. So That's a pretty specific That's... number. Yes, because, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm suddenly, you're going to be exactly like you were before he did this. And uh, then... Is that a thing you can I'm... do, or did that just happen to be the number you got? No, that's, that's still the thing I can do. It's the last of my channel divinities. Uh... <laughs> I only have three because of an item. And now, once more into the breach, my friend. For Bahamut! Rolling at disadvantage? Yes, yeah, you're miss. rolling at disadvantage. Okay. I, I miss, the first, even without disadvantage. <laughs> All right, did you want to hand over your quiver? Oh, yes, and I hand over a quiver to you. It's an efficient quiver. Very nice. Poo poo. And that's it. Wait, 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 hold on. I might want to do one more thing because it's not super expensive. How much can I move it? Oh, I can only move it 20 feet. And never mind, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm good. Done. All right. At the end of your turn, it will attempt to attack you with its tail. Shot. Does a 24 hit you? It does not. All righty. Yeah, the tail just lances out, and you manage to step aside. Widriel. I will move across the bridge to here. Okay. And I will take another shot at it. All right. It seems to be unending. And here we go. Uh, 28 to hit. That will hit. An initial 11 with a sneak attack of 25 for a total of 36. All right. Again, you're only doing half damage to this thing. Um, yep. but that was a pretty good shot. Then at the end of your turn, it will force Artabash to make a deck saving throw. What'd you get, Artabash? Uh, what is the saving throw? Uh, deck save. Okay. Yeah, 17. Okay, a 17 will fail. Uh, so you take 15 points of bludgeoning damage and are knocked prone as it moves back to there.
And that takes us to Nisriel's turn. Oh. So, I have a bow now. Huzzah. Um. Yes. Yeah, you kind of just reach back, and out of this quiver that looked like it had nothing in it, you have a bow. Okay. Oh, I'm in the wrong chair. There we go. Okay. Um, do I have stats on the bow? Basically, it's a short bow. D6 plus one. Okay. Ankle. Uh, plus whatever your dex modifier is. Plus six. Okay. So I'm going to try to use that. So I'm going to roll a d20. See how we do. Uh, seven, roll the 17. Uh, do I add anything to... Uh, your dex modifier. So... Plus your... 23. Um, yeah. I just added a short bow to your actual character sheet. Thank you, sir. That's faster. <laughs> I'm not... Yeah. You know me, Dave. Yep. But I, I think that hits, though. Because that's like 20 something. Yeah, if you got a 17 on the die, you're getting a plus six yeah. to hit with the short bow. So that's a 23. Uh, but you are at disadvantage. Okay, so, you have so to roll, roll again. again. Yeah. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, if you just scroll down on your weapon, on your attacks, it sh you should see the short bow. No, maybe I need to refresh. I'll try refreshing my page. Yeah, sorry. No, you're good. There it is. All right. 20? Uh, 20 will miss. Okay. Uh, anything, you mean you, you get, I, just like with your regular attacks, yeah. you get multiple attacks with this thing. I'll try again. Okay, Especially that's your first attack. A forever quiver. 22? Uh, but it's a, it, all your attacks are disadvantaged, so you need to roll twice for each one. Uh, that good. hit? Yeah, 22 hits. Great. Seven. Okay. And you still have an attack from your uh, haste if you want to use it. 20. So, 12. Uh, 12 will miss. It's thin. And then, uh, do you want to move? Or are you going to stay where you are? I'm going to stay there. Oh, wait, is the lava encroaching? Or was it like that? It was probably like that before. It's all like fine. That yeah, you're fine where you are. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to stay here for now. Okay. Uh, Aiden. Uh, let's see, does he have anything he can do? Yeah, he's going to try his ensnaring strike. So he's going to fire off. Uh, he hits with his first attack. Hits with his second attack. And basically, when his first arrow hits, you see... Uh, Massive, like, thorny vines erupt out of the arrow and surround Pyrescythe. Uh, so, let's see here. Seven plus six is 13. 13. Nine points of damage. Second attack. Nice. 14 points of damage. Okay. So Aiden gets some good shots in. 
and then it has to make a save if it wants to move. All right. So that's Aiden's turn. Uh, on a 20, I need everyone to give me dexterity saving throws that's within 60 feet of Pyrosite. So. Everybody except for Aiden. Aiden, yeah. Okay. Nine. Okay. Twenty-one. Don't forget you have advantage. Right, because I'm oh, a Oh, really? No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Nisriel. Oh. Nisriel does because of haste. Hey. Actually, oh, Nisriel, yeah. you, do not, you do not have haste any longer. It expired on your turn. Oh, okay. It's round 10, so this was the last round for haste for the potion. All right. So same it thing. It is round 10? Yes, so yours will be expiring this turn. Okay. Well, I rolled a 22. Okay, so <laughs> the only one who is knocked prone is Nisriel, as the ground shakes once more. And then with a roar of fury, it charges forward attacking Archibash with claws and teeth. It claws at you twice and then tries to bite you twice. As it is clearly enraged at your presence. Uh, a 26 and a 25. Uh, 26 will hit, the 25 will not. Okay, so the claws... The claws. Ooh, uh, nat 20 on a bite, and then a 29. Yeah, those those others hit, yeah. Okay, so you take 15 points of slashing damage from one claw. And then the two bites, the first one does 19 piercing and 7 fire. And the second one does... 36 plus 14 fire, so 50. With the critical. Okay. How much was that fire? Because that matters for me. Uh, 14. 14, okay, so 43. Okay, good. I'm still standing. Nice. By a hair. You take half from fire? Yeah. Ooh. All right, I see that. I see that. Uh, ah, what just happened? All right, and that takes us to your turn, Artabash. Okay. Uh, well, I'm just about out, guys. So I just need to see one thing to see how far away they have to be for this. Oh, good. You're within range. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I am going to dismiss the uh, holy weapon that is on Nisriel's blood axe. Okay. And he has to make a con save. All right, Nisriel, make a con save. No, no, he has to make a con save. Oh, okay. Fire sight. It's not likely, but hey. Uh, 26? Uh, yeah, he succeeds, but, uh, I'm going to make that Ordi a radiant cut in half. It's... Yes, buddy. Uh, so nine cut in half, or nine damage. All right, did you already cut it in half? I already cut it in half, yeah. All right. 
because, uh, yeah, uh, th this is uh, blaze of glory now. Uh, so, Nis so Nisrael no longer has the extra two d eight damage on the blood on the axe. on the blood axe. Yeah. Okay. It, it would go away if I die anyway. So. <laughs> and. Uh, all right, so let's see. A hey, 22 hits? Yeah, 22 hits. Okay, then I'm burning my other fifth level, uh, fifth level, uh, inflict wounds to do seven die six, or seven die ten. Uh, did you roll with disadvantage? Oh shit, rolling with disadvantage, that's right. Okay, well, that was a 23, so... Okay, that still hits then. 22 was disadvantage, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, that is uh, 41 points of damage. All right, so halved is 21. And then I don't got much left, so uh, I will uh, chug my last healing potion for... Uh, Die four plus eight for a total of uh, thirty-two. All right. <coughs> and at the end of your turn, it will attempt to hit you with its tail. There. Uh, twenty-four. Which misses. Your haste is over because your turn's over. Oh, it's on. It's not on my turn. It's well. You're, no, it's not on your turn. It's at the end of at the basically after your turn goes. Then yes, it does hit. Okay. Uh, you know what? It says at the end of another creature's turn, so I will still give you the haste. Okay. <laughs> so it Ooh, will miss. So no. Barely. Yes. And now I'm too tired to move. And now you are lethargic. I believe. Because your haste is over for this turn, you can't do anything. I can't move. Yeah. All right, Widriel. How badly damaged does it look? Um, you can't really. I mean, you, it's hard you to know tell, it's right? been doing damage, but it's really hard to tell just because it's not like a human anatomy. You know, it's got cuts, scrapes. You know. But does it seem scales. like he's, he's getting tired? Not or... at all. He's like, I'm good. He's Captain America. He could do this all day. All right. Hmm. I, I don't... It doesn't have any effect, right? I can't... Because uh, my idea would be to maybe try with my arrows and bow to clip his wings had the articulation so I'm aiming for that on the right wing I okay. want to damage that to prevent him from flying I don't know if it's doable but that's what I will try to do okay go ahead and attack and here we go actions and that is a does not appear why. All right, so it's a 22 to hit. Okay, you have disadvantage, so you have to roll again and take oh, the lower of the again. two. And 22 or 27? Oh, 22, because that's lower. 22 hits. Okay. Just want to refresh real quick. And let's do the damage. So that's an initial 11. And... 20 for the sneak attack, so 31 damage All right. on that wing. Okay. Anything else? I just, yell, I just try to take him down, not flying. Put him on the ground. I need to take him to the ground. All right. Uh, Nisriel, you cannot move because you are lethargic this turn. I feel that deep in my soul. Yeah, you're like, Ooh. it's nice and warm right here. This is kind of cool. 
You can attack. Uh, yes. I will, uh... Actually, can you attack? I don't know, Mr. GM. Mm -hmm. Let me double check. Target can't move or take actions until after its next turn as a wave of lethargy sweeps over it. See, you're basically just there. I'm a cat. I'm curled up. Yeah, you're right. like, ah, it's so comfy right now. I'm a, I'm a lizard. I'm a lizard, and it's warm here, and it's nice. All right. And at that, it is going to force a dexterity saving throw from uh, Artabash, who is not here right now. A wait. I'm GM Fiat rolling for Devin. Alright. Uh, does he have a plus 10 to his dexterity save? He might. Uh, no, he's got a plus one. Alright, so he fails the dex save, takes 15 points of bludgeoning damage, and is not prone. And he moves to there. Actually, he'll move to... Yeah, there's fine. Yeah, there. Yeah, there works. All right. And then that takes us to Aiden's turn. He's going to do a thing. No, Artabash does not take 115 damage. He only takes 15. All right. Aiden. He's going to standing log jump to there. He fails. He gets lava burned. And for 12. Five, ten, fifteen. That's ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Does he have anything that can get him? Oh wait, Pyrocytes had to make a strike save, which he easily does to move because of the <coughs> thorns that were in that area. And uh, yeah, he's just too far away. He can't get to. He'll just double move, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, standing right there on the edge. Uh, he's got to make an athletics check again. Failing. He's trying to get to... Oh, he took 22 points of damage from that one. As he just burns and fire. But he's trying to get to Artabash to heal him. So he's desperately running over there. And does he have anything that will help him? Uh, he'll use a bonus action to drink one of his uh, healing potions. Uh, somebody roll me 8d4. 8d4? Yes, 8 four-sided dice, please. And tell me what you get. Um, Whilst I move on the initiative. Eight. Whoops. Eight. Which moves us to Pyrocythe. Uh, 21. 21. So 
Aiden heals 25 damage from his uh, healing potion. Which is good, because he needed that. Uh, Pyre Scythe will attack Artabash. And he'll try to bite He'll bite Nisrael once, bite Artabash once, and then claw Artabash. So the two claws, uh, 27 and 29, so I know they hit him. The bite gets a 23 and misses. And Nisrael uh, only gets a 16, so I know that misses your armor class. So Artabash got it with two claws, so four and four is eight. 38 and eight is 46 points of damage. Yes. Which will put Artabash down, unless Artabash has a... I got you. Israel, I saw, I saw your... I saw your Mabobber. All right, so Aiden is potentially down. Unless he's got a way to stop 46 damage. Fire to bash. All right, so that is Pyroslate's turn, which takes us to Artabash. Or Atrabash, Artabash, who will do nothing this turn because he's lethargic anyway. Um, I just need to know if he has any kind of action, like reaction he can take. Uh, so we'll move up to Widriel. Uh, so uh, my allies, who looks really, really down? Uh, well... Effectively, Artabash is down and has now fall and will be falling into lava on his turn if he doesn't have any sort of reaction to save himself. I'm not aware of any reaction that Artabash has, but I don't know everybody's character sheets. 100%. And he's completely the opposite of me. All right, so I will take my move action over here. Okay. I'm still within range. Yep. And... Just a roll at disadvantage. Is some Are they attack. considered at within five feet or no longer anyone nobody, five feet? Yeah, nobody is within five feet All at right. this point. So I will roll with disadvantage. This over here. 22. Uh, that was with disadvantage? Yep. All right, you hit. And if you roll 11 again, I'm going to be very impressed, because you've rolled a lot of 11's damage. 14. All right, so he takes half of that as you embed an arrow into his body. And then it... Actually, I'm still aiming at his... the, the articulation between his body and the wing. Okay. Trying to... All right. Get that down. So, Artabash... Are you with us? Yes. Well, not really, because I'm down. You took 46 points of damage on I your turn. I was still listening. I, I sent okay. you text messages. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't see it. But, yeah, no. I got nothing. I'm down. Okay. So you have fallen into the lava. Your boots go out. You've fallen into the lava. Um, so uh, on your turn. I I was... Oh, that's not. Yeah, you were there. So, yeah. Because you were hovering with your boots. Yeah, but for they, some reason I thought that was land. Yeah, they they <laughs> de yeah, they turn off as soon as you go unconscious. Um so you auto fail a death save because of the lava, and then you can uh, make your first death save. One thing though. What? My attuned ring of water walking, would that still make me lay on the lava? Huh. Um, 
No, it's kind of like the boots. It kind of doesn't work while you're unconscious. Well, I only say this because magical alarm things work when you're unconscious. Well, that's because they're meant to. Hmm. All right. So. All right, and Widriel, are you doing anything else? Nope. You did shoot. Okay. Uh, but you do need to make uh, make it that save for Artabash. That's just a straight D20, right? Yeah, straight D20, 10 or better. Fail. Fail. All right, so you are at two failed dead saves. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so it was Widriel. Nisrael. Yes. I am trying to come up with some kind of uh, like heroic uh, I think I've just got to run up to it. I mean, you could always just yeah. run. I mean, if you want, you can run up and pull Artabash's body out of the That's out a of the really lava. good idea. Where is Artabash? Right here. Yeah. I mean, um, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then just yank him out of the lava. Yeah, yeah. I, I, will, I will assist in that manner. <clears throat> okay. One more. Need to go there. Oh, there? Okay. I thought that was him. Nope. That's Aiden. Uh, yes, I will do that. And uh, do you need an athletics check or anything like that? No, you just, we'll say you just, yeah, you just kind of pull them out and toss them there. You're strong enough that. All right. Um, and I have, I'm going to use one of my healing potions on them. Okay. Go ahead and roll. What? A, oh, right. Uh, 84 plus 8. It's getting rough, people. Yeah. Yep. I thought for sure Artabash was going to try to use his divine intervention on that turn. Uh, I still had spells left. 28? That's, that's why. Alright, okay. so you heal 28 points of damage. And that is your turn, Israel. I'm no longer the Flash. Uh, at the end of your turn, it will try to swing its tail and slash somebody open. Who does it wish to slash open? Um, it'll try to slash open. I'm going to roll random. It's going to go after Nisriel. The dice are ever in your favor, and it only rolls a 16 to hit you. And that moves us to Aiden, who will do a thing. What stuff? He is burnt out of spells on that, so he will do that. Here I am doing it. All right. So, Artabash, you get back another seven points as he casts a level one of his last level one spells on you because he's all out of any other spells. Uh, he's not alone. And then he moves back to there. And that is his turn. The end of his turn. It will try to use its wings to for and it's forcing both Nisrael and Artabash to make deck saves. Ten. Okay, you fail. Are you adding in your plus four? I mean you're still gonna fail, but just make sure you're adding in your plus four from your uh your aura. Because I don't think it's not I don't think it's auto counting oh, it in for uh, you. Uh then fourteen. Yeah, it's still a failure, but I just want to remind you so that you mm -hmm. 
And Aiden? 19. I'm sorry, Aiden? Oh, Artibash? Aiden. No, you. Yeah, sorry, I just said the wrong okay. 19. Uh, 19 fails, so you both knock prone and take 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, I was just resurrected, so wouldn't I already be prone? Yeah, you're still prone, but it's just, you know, part of the move. It knocks everybody prone, but you're already prone, so you don't have to worry about that part. You just take 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Which moves us to his turn. And he is going to go after you and Nisriel, Artabash. He's biting Nisriel twice and then attempting to claw you twice, Artabash. Uh, he hits you with one claw with a 31 to hit, and the other one was a nat one, so that misses. <coughs> um, so that claw does 15 points of slashing damage. And Nisriel with the two bites, uh, 19 and a 31. Is that already halved? No, that's to hit you. Oh, uh, both hit. Okay. Um, you're not taking half damage. Are you taking half damage for some reason? No, I thought you had been having it before. Oh, no. Um, so 38 slash or 38 piercing plus 14 fire damage. So, 52 points of damage total. Hmm. Okay. I'm and... gonna be chugging a healing potion my next turn. And it is now Artabash's turn. Artabash isn't even going to get up. He is just going to, from the prone position, Actually, start he to had to pray. He had to move to there to attack you with his claws, Artabash, so he just had to move. So are you using your uh, your thing? Yeah, I'm using my thing, and I'm probably not going to get anywhere with it, but All right, I'm let using me see, it anyway. Let me see those dice. I want to see that camera. This All is right. a big roll. It's a big roll. This is Come this on. is a big roll, and it's probably going to roll like a 67 or something. All right. Now, for all the audience, I have to roll a 12 or under. Yeah, so for the audience, Artabash is trying to summon... 56. 56. <laughs> Artabash calls upon the divine aid of Bahamut in a desperate time of need. And Bahamut looks down and says, I'm, He gives I'm, me one claw. He gives him the middle claw. <laughs> Sadly. Does unless not, somebody, uh, unless, a better plan. unless anybody in the audience has a boost for Artabash and he can re-roll it. Anybody want to see Bahamut try and do a smackdown with a Smaller dragon. Anybody want to try to see Bahamut help? Going once, going this, twice. This, this group isn't the kind that helps. I know. Us. This is a. <laughs> this is a. This is not a merciful crew. All right. Pass. Back up to the top with Widriel. Kind of stuck within this radius. All right. Still trying, like shooting at that wing nonstop. Okay. Uh, still rolling with disadvantage. Yes. Twenty-five. Uh, okay, that was your first shot. And whoa, it's a crit. Okay, so the twenty-five. Which hits. Yep. Which, which hits. Yep. Yep. Uh, so it's a crit. That means I do double damage for the first one, right? Well, no, because you didn't crit because you rolled a 25. You rolled with disadvantage. Yeah. So, so unless you crit oh, on both dice. Okay, it took the yeah, 15. Yeah, yeah, you have to take 15. the worst. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So normal damage. 13 plus. Yep, plus your attack, sneak attack. Because there are two people. So 13 plus 23 is 36. So 18 damage. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, it will attempt to... use its... 
hail attack because it it used a wing attack, I believe, on its turn at the end of uh, Artabash's turn. So it tries to tail attack, and it will tail attack Nisriel. Uh, a 26 will hit you for 17 slashing damage. Nisriel. I'm out. Alright, so you go down to zero. And it is now your turn, so go ahead and make a death saving throw for me. Remind me? Uh, just roll, roll a d10. Uh, roll a d20 and if you get a 10 or above it's a success it should it might just let you do it right on your character sheet uh six uh that is a failure if you fail three times before three successes you die well, that's one failure all right and that it's moves us to rolling. aiden's turn <sighs> aiden moves up to Ugh. Aid moves to there on that rock. And he will force feed you his last healing potion. So go ahead and roll 8d4 plus 8, Nisrael. And you will be healed that much. And that is Aiden's turn, which takes us to Pyre Scythe, the Frenzied Flame. Uh, he is going to bite at Aiden two times. And then he's going to move. Uh, he hits Aiden twice. For 38. 52 points of damage to Aiden. Aiden is still up, but just barely. Aiden is at 12 hit points. Then he is going to fly to here and attempt to claw Widriel. Uh Those who are up can make an attack of opportunity. Aiden cannot because he's got a bow. Artabash, you can. Uh, I would be a disadvantage, and you are already at disadvantage because of the spell effects on him. Mm -hmm. But and you I, can uh, if you want to. I rolled uh, 28. All right, so you heal 28 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Artabash, did you want to make an attack of opportunity? All right. Oh, no. Just in case we have a reaction attack, I want to be able to defend that gotcha. death save. Gotcha. So, Widriel. Uh, a 20 and a 27. 27 hits. All right, the 20 does not hit. I have 21 armor class. Nice. All right, so you take 15 points of slashing damage from the dragon's 15 claw. 15 points of slashing damage, I think. Uh, so when an attacker that you can see hits you in an attack, you can use the reaction to have the attack damage. Yep. So uncanny dodge. Yeah, you can use uncanny dodge to take half damage on that one attack. And how much was it again? Uh, fifteen. So it would be eight. eight. And that takes us to you, Artabash. Uh, so uh, Artabash is going to look at Nisrael and say, "We're not making this out of here. At least you should sit and be able to get out because you're the one he wants." Do we know where the exit is? Can we still see it? Uh, you can see it. It is back here, but it is doused in lava. It's like half full of lava, and there's some lava running through the, like, into the entrance and down it, because it is, like, back here. I don't know what actual effect this is going to do, because this is purely going to be on what you want to do with it. Okay. Uh, I am going to take out my decanter of endless water, and shoot a geyser into the lava underneath Pyrescythe. Okay. Because That's that really not... right should make a shit ton of... Uh, it's not cover. really going to do much, because it's not... The lava is just so... Like, the lava is so hot 
am expecting it to make a giant steam bath. Okay, well that I can, can do. See any, where you can't see anything yeah, for that, a few rounds. That I'll give you. Give you yeah, like a 20 that, foot steam cloud. Yeah, something to basically block his view so that at least if Nisrael runs, she can run and not be seen. Hey, he wants to kill you for some reason. I think he wants to kill all of us. Yeah, he pointed you out though. I don't remember that. I do. <laughs> and I don't have anything left except for uh, level one spells. So uh, have have a healing word. Oh God. Here's D four and... plus eight. <laughs> yeah. So ha have a have a healing word and get. Uh... I need I need a caltrop. <laughs> I don't have an actual caltrop out. I need a caltrop. I didn't think I need a caltrop in this fight. I really didn't think I'd need a caltrop in this fight. Uh, so give yourself 11 points of health. And I'll take my three, because it's a level one spell. Now I have a whole eight. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. At least one of us should live. And that's it. Okay. That's all I got. All right. At the end of your turn, it will attempt to tail attack Widriel. Hey. Oh, uh, 29. It hits. Okay. So that's going to be 15 slashing damage from the tail. So can I take half again? Uh, what does... Uncanny dodge say. So let's see here. Uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. When it's an attacker that oh. you can see hits yeah. you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attacks damage against you. Okay, and you've already used your reaction this turn. Because oh, this your is reaction. Not a new turn. No, this was the end of. This is actually the end of the turn on Artabash. It's so per it's round. Per, yeah, it's per round. So you haven't recharged your reaction yet. So you'll right. take the full fifteen. All right. And then it's your turn. So 15. Wait, did it count it? Yes, it did. Okay. Ah, uh, wow. He's right next to me. Uh, bonus action to disengage. Okay. So I do not create any type of opportunity. Correct. I will. Uh, you can't move through him, though. Oh, he's literally on the bridge? Yeah, he's literally just standing half on the bridge, half in lava, and doesn't seem to care. Okay, I'm just going to go back and shoot the wing. All right. Uh, still a disadvantage, correct? Yes. No, that's a 12. All right, so you will miss. Uh, you wish to do anything else? Uh, nope. You still have move if you wanted to move, but I know. Yeah, but there's party. nowhere for me nah. to move. <laughs> All right, that takes us to Nisriel. I mean, she's she's not gonna run away. Uh, yeah. So like right now around Pyre's like there is like a steam cloud. Okay. So uh, in addition to, I mean, basically he has concealment, which was already disadvantage anyway. So. Yeah. I mean, what I want to do because he's in a steam cloud and that's water and that conducts electricity is lightning breath him or at least lightning breath the cloud around him but i don't think that'll actually do what i want it to do i just think it's cool but uh i i seriously doubt that would be as effective as i at, at all i doubt that it would actually work um but it's creative it is yes 
So Dave, how do, does would the rule of cool help at all? I will oh, give my... him I will give him disadvantage. If you breathe into the cloud of steam, I will give him disadvantage on his deck save. Okay, I'm gonna try it. All right. I need I need, need to get within thirty of him. Is it within thirty feet? Oh, because you have a line, right? Yeah, it's a thirty foot. Range. All right. So from where you were, you were fine where you were. Oh, I was. Yeah. All right, then I I will stay there with my butters. Yeah. But yeah, that's only twenty five feet to get to him. Um, I actually think you were back one more next to Aiden, which is still within thirty feet, so you'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, you, you can stay far enough away. Okay. Yeah, either way, you can get the blast will catch fire sight. Okay. So three D ten. So what's the uh what's the DC for the saving throw? Uh Dex fifteen. He fails. Even on both dice, he failed. Okay. So 3d10 damage. So that's 13. 13 damage? Yep. Okay. Uh, he is only taking half. <coughs> but you do damage. It's... <laughs> you light this cloud up and you can see, like, spark, like, spark outline of fire scythe in this cloud. There we go. And that takes us to Aiden. Aiden Birch Blossom, who really has not much left to do. Uh, he is going to cast. Does he cast or does he hit? Does he attack? You know, he's going to use his Dragon Wing Longbow to attack, I think. So, rolling with disadvantage. That is a hit. The first attack, and a miss with the second attack. But, he did damage. So, 12, 18, 9, 14 damage. All right, so he did 14 damage to Pyre Scythe. And now it is Pyre Scythe's turn. He will move up to Widriel to attack you with everything. So his two claws, uh, 24 and a Twenty-nine. Yep. Sorry. Twenty-one and a twenty-nine. Yep. They hit and the bites. Uh twenty-two and twenty-seven. Yep. Alright. So it's a total. Well, I'm not gonna give you totals. I'll give you individuals because I think you can use your uncanny dodge on one of them. So the bites are doing nineteen plus seven fire, nineteen piercing, so twenty-six damage from each bite. And then 15 damage from each claw. Okay. So you have your uncanny dodge if you want to have one of those have one of those sources of damage. The biggest one. Alright, so you're taking 26 half, so 13 from one bite. Okay. And then you take another 30 46. Okay. I'm at eight. As it just tears into your body. Yep. Artabash. <laughs> okay. You're going to love it. Artabash is going to fly, or fly right up to being over top of him. Yep. <laughs> and drop a cube on him. Nice. So he Give gets him a that deck save. He gets a deck save for half of 10d10. I looked this up because I was wondering if you were going to do it. And I'm doing it from above him, so... What's the DC? 15. Uh, let's see. His dex is a... 
plus six. He got a fifth. He got a thirteen. That but is ten dice. Ten damage. He uses his legendary resistance to succeed. That's fine. He's his, still one got of his, ten, ten damage. Yeah, one of his first legendary resistances out of his three per day. But yes, oh, 10d10 10 damage as you just drop your fortress on top of them. I'm just going to do this the lazy way because holy crap, that's a lot of 10 d that's a lot of d10s. So half of 59. All right, half of 59 is 30. Halved again is 15. And then he gets pushed out of the area. Yep. And I'm and going to And now there's a use... fortress right here. And I'm going to go into my fortress. Uh, it The ground that you're on the crust just starts sinking into the lava from the weight of the fortress. <laughs> and you can see the hissing as the lava starts to like burn and melt the outside of this fortress. Well, it's still safer in the fortress than out there. <laughs> Until it disintegrates. Eh, it's at least one round, right? <laughs> oh, and uh, bonus action, healing word. Let's see, are you with, what is healing words? If you're in the fortress, you can't cast healing word. No, at no, least I'm not saying, on them. Uh, any creature you can see with within range, any creature you can see, it has the arrow slit holes. I can still see people out of the fortress. True. So, so, who wants a D four? <laughs> All right, nobody's answering. So, uh, two. All right, uh, Alan. All right. Okay, you get eleven points of health. Hmm. Thank you. Yay. Can you guys see that on the board? That's the fortress? Yeah, that is the fortress. All right. I like it. It's, <laughs> it's a gigantic tent. Well, I don't have a Darren's <laughs> Instant Fortress in here, so you get a giant tent. Uh, All right. All right, anything else, Artabash? As you just nope, drop, that's it. as you just that's drop an it. instant fortress on top of a red dragon, Th that's what you call a cleric's last resort. All right, at the <laughs> end of your turn, you're inside the fortress, right? Oh yeah. Okay, so we'll put you in. The, <laughs> we'll just put you in the fortress. It lashes a tail out at um, Widrail since it has a 15 foot reach. Ah. ah. A 19, which I know misses you. Does not hit. All right, would you reload it? You're up. Uh, I will get inside the fortress. Okay. And you did say, you did mention in the previous game that there are harrow slits. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shoot from there. Okay. So, so you... Uh, uh, you enter the sinking fortress. It's sinking? Yeah. How it's big pushing, is the fortress? It's 20 by 20 and 30 feet high. But you start to see now that lava is beginning to seep into the arrow slits. Ugh. I, okay, I get back out. I didn't know it was sinking. Yeah, like that whole patch yeah, yeah, of yeah. ground that you're on, because of the weight of this like solid metal fortress, is pushing it down into the lava. Okay, just getting the hell out there. Okay. You're like, eh. And uh, I do not have line of sight. 
probably. Uh, it's getting cover, so it's getting a plus four to its armor class from the fortress. Yeah, no, never mind. Just I'll uh, try to jump over here. Okay, give me an athletics check. So, athletics. Why don't I have my sheet? Ah, oh, here we go. Athletics. 16. Okay, you are fine. You, like, touch down and you almost fall backwards into the lava, but you manage to get there. And I will tend to whoever needs tending. Uh, what's up? I mean, Nisriel. Aiden's got 12 hit points left. Nisriel has 39. All right, so I'll give a potion to Aiden. Okay. So Aiden, you were given a potion by... And Widriel. it's, what, 8D... One potion is 8d4 plus 8? Yes. And on its turn, it moves to there with its legendary action. So that is 26 HP up. All right. That is one potion less. Uh, so just really, you regain 26 HP. Uh, wasn't it Aiden that was the lowest? Oh, you gave it to Aiden? Sorry. Yeah, to, to the All lowest. Right. All right, so Aiden recovers 26 HP. Putting Aiden at 38. All right, uh, it is Nisriel's turn. All right. Oh, it moved closer. Great. Yep. Uh, I'm going to do what paladins do and attempt to die heroically. Okay. Um, it will be the most heroic of deaths. I mean, I doubt that. I've had characters die pretty heroically several times. Um, but I'm a run up. Okay. And take your attacks? Yeah. All right. Do you have any schmites? You can use schmites. Um, you do have any oh, spell slots. Yeah, do you have any spell slots oh. you can burn for smites? I do. I have uh, second level spell slots. That's okay. three die eight then. Yeah, an extra three die eight damage, three d eight damage. Okay. So that nineteen misses, however. But you don't burn the spell slot unless then you can hit and then smite. Okay. So I'm gonna try to hit again. All right, and you still have disadvantage. Okay. So. Uh, they will both miss. Yep. As you swing in. All right, Aiden's turn. Uh, Aiden's just going to fire his bow with disadvantage. And rolled a nat one, so that first arrow misses. Oh, and a nat one again, so two arrows miss. Um, but he will move to there. Just skirting the edge of the lava. And it is now Pyrethe's turn. All right. Can't get me in here. Uh, it glances, and you see that one eye that was missing that had that has that weird, like orb in it, flare for a second, and out from out of it launches a bolt of lightning. And I need Nisriel and Widriel to give me deck saves. Nineteen. Okay, so you will take two. You will take half damage, and uh, you are fine. Uh, which are y'all? Because you have your uncanny. You have your uh, evasion. Yes. Excuse me. All right. Um, 86. There we go. I know I have more D6s somewhere. There we go. Twenty-eight. 
24 damage to half to 12. Oh, and aren't you, like, resistant or immune to that, actually? Nisrael? The lightning? Yeah. Yes. Are you immune or resistant? Let me double check my shade. Um... I think you might be resistant. I'm resistant to it. Okay, so halved to 12 and then halved again to 6. So you only take 6 damage from that. Pyroslaith was not paying attention when you went for that spell. And that takes us to Artabash. Um, I need you to give me a deck save if you're, uh, as your tower is filled with lava. Unless you want to run up top and jump out of the top. Yeah, I was figuring I'd fly out. Because I right. still have my boots. Yeah, so you fly up and out. And, uh... Go... Right there, next to him. Okay. And... Give him a solid whack. Let's see what I can do with my mace. Alright, and you still have disadvantage. Okay. That was a 21, and a nat 1. Yup, no. Okay, so yeah, you will miss. All right, at the end of your turn, he will attempt to hit you with his tail. Actually... Uh, bonus action, final, one, probably one of my final ones I'm going to do. Healing word! All right. <laughs> Here you go, Nisriel. You have now regained uh, 10 health. He's actually going to force both of you to make a deck save instead using his wing bash. So Nisriel and Archibesh, I need deck saves. I should have gotten closer to you. Nisriel say Nisriel rolled a twenty a lot. I rolled a sixteen. Okay, got so closer to you. You fail and take fifteen bludgeoning damage, and then are knock prone. And I'm out again. And you fall into lava. Yep. And I he die. Moves, he moves to there. Burning ten. Uh, Nisro, you can take an attack of opportunity if you'd like, as you were not knocked prone. I will do that thing. Okay. Still with disadvantage. Okay, so six. So that's hitting right now. 19. Uh, 19 will miss. I saw it. It was gone. All right, and that was Artabash's turn, which takes us to Widriel. Um, it's right next to me. Yep. So, bonus action to disengage. Okay. Just to, Over. Just to put it out there, uh, Widriel, you could stay there if you want to, pull out two daggers and get two stabs at it with two different daggers, giving you two chances to hit. Oh. Think about that. Yeah. I mean, it's only D4 damage versus your D6, but you get two chances to hit, which means double the chance for sneak attack damage. But also a very positive chance that this dragon will try to eat you on its turn. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, the pros and cons. All right. I'll double dagger. I have one <gasps> dagger of venom. Dagger, dagger. All right. So, but I roll with disadvantage for both. Yeah, you're going to roll with disadvantage. First dagger, one, dagger. 14. All right, second dagger. 14. Oh. <laughs> All right, so your two daggers miss. But, see, now here's the beautiful part. You can take a bonus action to disengage. Yeah. And move. Right. What's well, the nice thing about a rogue is technically like on your turn you could like move up, stab, stab, bonus action, run away. I'll actually try to jump to here. All right, give me an athletics check. <laughs> Eight. Uh, you are taking some lava damage, sir, as you <laughs> fell this game. into the lava. This game. Twenty-two points of lava damage. Dead. 
Well, you're not dead. You're just you know you're at you're on zero this saving throw, yep. but you are there as you fell into lava and then collapsed. That's why I always play a wizard. <laughs> All right, that was Widriel. Nisriel, your turn. Okay. More stabby, slashy. Okay. I would go for the slashy because if you're trying to stab him with your axe, you might be yeah, like missed. Uh, and if I hit, I will uh, smite. Smite. Okay. Okay. So an 18's not going to hit. 18 will not hit. And if I roll less than that, it's not going to work. Um, but try again because I have another attack. Yeah, she do have another attack. I have a chance. Hey, uh, you got a chance. 26 will hit. Hey! So you're going to do your regular axe damage and then use a smite for an extra 3d8. Yeah. Okay. So it's definitely going to kill me after this, but that's okay. Hey, that base damage is damn fine. Yeah. Uh, 18... 19, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 damage. Nice. Total? Yes. Nice. Uh, it takes half. And it roars as you slash into it and then unleash a burst of radiant energy into it with your last attack. Uh, did you want to do anything else? You want to move? Bonus action to drink a potion if you have any left? Uh, I will chug a health potion, yes. All right, so go ahead and roll 8d4 plus 4. I thought it was 8d4 plus 8. Oh, you're right. 8d4 plus 8. And then it is Aiden's turn. What is Aiden going to do? Uh, I think Aiden's just going to shoot at it. Actually, you know what? No, Aiden is going to move to there and pull Witcher's unconscious dying body out of uh, the lava. And then... Five foot... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's what he does. Aiden doesn't have any... Uh, he doesn't have healing words, so he can't healing word. All right, and he's out of potions, so that takes us to Pyrethe's turn. <sighs> Moves to there. It's going to attempt to bite Aiden twice, and then claw Nisriel twice. So the bites on Aiden. Uh, both hit. And the one of the claws hits. Actually, no, both claws hit Nisriel. Because um, you're only an 18 armor class. Alright, so... Nisriel, you take 52 points of damage, 38 slot piercing, and 14 fire, but a total of that. And Aiden takes 38 damage, or 30 damage from the two claws. What Putting, was it again? I'm sorry. Uh, be right with you. I was calculating his damage. Um, 52. This it just moves up and just claws and bites. And Artabash, your turn. And I roll a failed save, and I'm already in lava, so I think that means I just, uh, 
yes, your unconscious dying form <laughs> slides under the lava. There's no thumbs up as your arm goes into it. And uh, you, you I, fall I under like the lava. One, I would like there to be one finger up. Just <laughs> as you fall into the lava, dying. Hello, Raiders from Artlet Games. Just in time to uh, see Artabash, our cleric, burn to death in I lava. Burned to death. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's not just burned to death. I T two'd myself. Yeah. Well, you didn't T two yourself. Hey, hey, hey! I chose to fly above lava. That's true. You did. You did. All right. And at the end of Artabash's last turn, it turns and makes a vicious tail attack at Aiden. And it hits Aiden for 15 points of damage, dropping him. And that takes us to Widriel. I need you to make a death save. Yep. Uh, that is a constitution save? Uh, that is just a d10. Oh, you should be able to roll a... it right on your character sheet. Uh, or you just roll okay. a d20, or you just roll a d20, and if you get a 10 or better, you just get a success. And you need three successes before three failures. If you roll a nat 20 on it, you get up to one hit point. Okay, uh, so it's a d10. Nope, d20. My fault. Oh, d20. Yeah. Basically, you want to get a 10 or higher. 13. Okay. So mark off one successful death save. Right. Uh, Nisrael, it is your turn. Uh, you no longer have disadvantage on attack rolls. Oh. That spell has worn off. Rad. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to kill it. Okay. That's a, that is a noble, noble goal. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die doing the, the paladin thing. I don't think that 14 hits, though. No, a 14 does not hit. We're gonna try again. I also okay. have a boost. Well, um, then use your boost. Yeah. Use your boost. So what does, what does uh, that you do? can, you can roll with advantage. <laughs> So you can take to you can opt to roll another d20 on that last attack. That hey. will hit. So that that hits. Yep. 19. I'll use another smitey smite. Okay. Honestly, I just forgot that I had them. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Which makes me feel. Hey. Dead. You're you're ending it off on a high note because. You did an 11 and 12 damage on your D12. Uh, 20. In your last hits. 23, 24, 25, 26, 30, 35? 35? Yeah. Will be halved to 18. Yep. Nisriel, how do you want to do this? You're kidding. How do you want to do this? So I'm dying, right? That's what that's what you mean by no. How do, how do you want to do this? Means you strike in and you hear a shriek come from the body of Pyrescythe, a dragon's death screech, as it begins to collapse. Now I feel worse. So how do you wish to okay. illustrate this killing of Pyrescythe, the frenzied flame? Okay. Um. So I've been pretty annoying the entire fight. I keep trying to jump on it. I've, I've kept trying to run at it and do ridiculous things, and he's probably pretty annoyed with me. So um, I think that he's probably launched his hat at out me and uh, recklessly given me access to the thick trunk of his neck. Okay. Uh, forgetting that I have this big old axe and I get a couple of really good whacks in just right between uh, two of the joints in his spine, like the, the neck part of his spine. And I would like to sever that neck so that 
he falls and the uh, part of his neck still attached to his head snaps and wiggles a little bit as it realizes it's dead. <clears throat> okay. So yes, he had launched out with you and he like, since you were the only one left, he swung his head around and like brought it in lower. You sidestep and with two mighty swings of your great axe, you managed to sever Pyrethe's head from his body. That glow that he had coming through his scales fades, his tongue lolls, and as he collapses, you also see that that orb in his, that was placed inside his empty eye socket just fall out and roll at your feet. And you have defeated Pyrescythe, the, the frenzied flame. So, um, is anyone else in my party still alive for me to carry out? Yeah? Well, you can, you can, you can, yeah, save the other two. Yeah, both Aiden and Widriel are a lot, are, you can stabilize them. Okay. So they will no longer be making death saves. I'm going to do that. uh, If I think I can do that safely in here without us dying from lava, I'll do that. Yeah, you're fine with the lava. Like, the only reason that the one started to collapse into the lava was due to the added weight of the, like, 10 tons of instant fortress. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I will stabilize them, get them out, and come back... Or okay. Pyrocyte's head. All right. Yeah, it's very large. You managed to shove it into. I think one of you has a. I have a satchel. I have like a. It won't fit. It won't fit in your handy haversack. Damn it. Because that's like a backpack, but it will fit in somebody else's bag of holding. The bag of holding went into the lava. I think somebody else has one. If not, I'm giving them one. Just for, just for drama. Yeah, but I think. Someone probably did. I think I might have been alone. Yeah, actually, I think you, you were have the only one. But, haversack. but we're gonna say that Aiden had one just because he didn't tell anyone. I handed anyone. it off to the rogue because that's what rogues have. Because that's what rogues do. And yes. Things. So you managed to make your way down the mountainside, being stuck now um, that lava has been filling the passageways. Um, so you managed to get down out of the... You take a short rest, so those of you who are um, unconscious can be uh, healed up. You managed to make your way down. You notice that as you make your way down, it seems there is a full-on revolt going on at this point inside the town. It seems word of your arrival had spread, probably from those two dwarves that you saved in the tunnels. Uh, So they are pushing back against those that have enslaved them, especially now that they've heard the death screech of Pyrocythe. They have no more will to fight and begin to flee. One of the members of Pyrocythe's crew you find it was actually a dragon of good who had been enslaved to Pyrescythe, and now with Pyrescythe death is no longer. Um, He aids you, heals you up, and you were able to set on your way back to Castle Greenstag to receive your reward. You are paid handsomely for your efforts. Um, Nisriel is weighed, and you are given the, you're you're given Nisriel's weight in gold and gems for your efforts. Uh, do you hand over the head of Pyrescythe, or do you keep it? Um, we can I hand sell it. it. I mean, uh, I leave it at a temple of Bahamut. Okay, <laughs> you leave it at the temple of Bahamut within the within the city. Um, did you take the weird eyeball thing? Yes, I okay. have that. Okay. Lady Greenstag is eternally grateful, and she says so. She's like, if you are ever in my lands and in need of aid, please seek me out. 
And with that, she gives you like a like an official seal that you all can bear. And that is where we end our part three of our two shot adventure, Rise of Pyre Saith, with our heroes victorious, but down one of their own. Perhaps the spirit of Artabash can be summoned back to the land of the living. Oh, yeah, they yeah, choose. Gold. And I thank the audience for watching and taking part in this. And just a real quick cutscene you see inside a dark cave inside of a mountain. A hoard of gold and gems and items seemingly unclaimed and alone. When you see a shadowy clawed dragon talon creep over it and it's a dragon made of shadow stuff curls up and slumbers on the hoard of what once was the dragon known as Pyre Scythe. Thank you again so much for watching. I've been Twin Dead Tweets, aka Dave. You can catch me on the Bird app. I want to thank you to thanks to all of my players. You are all fabulous. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this. And thank you to my wonderful audience, both for helping and challenging my party of adventurers this evening and for the last two sessions. Uh, so everyone, in the normal order, go around and let everybody know who you are and where they can find you next. Hey guys, I'm Alan, your Eldritch Keeper, and you can find me on Twitter and Twitch as the Eldritch Keeper. You can find me next week. Oh, my brain is trying to function. You can find me next week on Tuesdays for I do believe we're going back to Mutants and Masterminds third edition so speedsters back yeah and uh on wednesday no you see my days are all messed up today i'm friday so it's thursday for you guys technically it's friday so here now starfinder now okay so you can find me next week for maintenance and mastermind and starfinder <laughs> Devin, you can find me online at Sword of Sullied, and I was Artabash. <coughs> and uh, you can find me next uh, tomorrow playing uh, the. Uh, they came from Camp Murder Lake. Yes, that's the name of it. Nice. Hello, I am Rosie, regular size mom. You can find me on Twitter at mom underscore size or on Twitter. Instagram and TikTok, and soon Etsy as Odd Duck Dice. Uh, may the odds be in your favor. Platypus is the oddest of ducks, which is why it's my logo. Uh, I have some new extra pointy extended D10s, and if you prick your finger upon them, you will summon a horde of uh, platypuses. So do with that what you will. And uh, you can find me tomorrow over on Big Dad Industries playing in part two of a technocrat game. We're looking for a missing child that has been abducted by a technocratic citizen. And then you can find me Saturday. Is, is Blue Moon happening on Saturday? Uh, I'm not sure what's happening yet. Um, okay. I want to talk to Birdie. If Birdie isn't running and we have people that are interested, I might just throw together a quick one shot in Pathfinder. You might Pathfinder. find me Saturday. Keep an eye on my Twitter. If it's uh, my if it's if it's me doing a one shot, everybody's gonna be playing undead. I mean, I, I would love to play a zombie. That sounds or a skeleton. I could be a skeleton. Or a mummy that or sounds, a ghoul. That sounds mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> love it. Uh, so you might find me here on Vorpal Tales on Saturday. Someday you will find me here on Vorpal Tales playing Mage as a Void Engineer Mechanicus in an alternative timeline. Um, check it out. Where we're, we're coming back from Mercury. All right. Once again, audience, thank you so much. I appreciate everything. I appreciate you watching. Raiders, thank you for rating. And to my cast, I know it was only a three shot, but you were all awesome.
So thank you so much for doing this with me. And we will catch you all next time here on Horrible Tales. Good night. <laughs>